Hello, Broadway family. I'd like your help to build on the success of our community meals and create Community Sundays. Starting in April, being very intentional about seeking a return on community. Think about our rich history together as a Broadway family, this building and all that comes with it, our ministry out in the world, in our workplaces and schools and communities, the people and their gifts, God's abundance, the love and energy that ebbs and flows from this community center and its sacred space. We are a multicultural Christian community that seeks, welcomes, and values all people. We had a theme for our three-year plan, making the invisible visible. We build money into our plan to have meals, intentional conversations, and share in the community in a deeper, richer way. We sought a grant to extend the table further into our homes, our communities, with our neighborhoods to connect more broadly. Think of the rich assets in and around Broadway. There is so much life going on in this building, connected with the members here at Broadway and in your neighborhoods. So how can we further extend our meals and our table? Let's actually and deliberately and intentionally invite people in our community Sundays for our meals. Like you, we need them, their gifts, their passions. Let's increase our return on community by getting more engaged with our neighbors. Starting in April, our challenge is to have community Sundays and pull out all the stops. There are many ways you can get involved, depending on your comfort level and your gifts. Let me give you a few ideas. First of all, like you've gotten used to our community meals on the third Sunday, I'd like for everyone just to be aware these community meals are now Community Sundays, where we are putting our best foot forward to meet our neighbors and showcase Broadway. First, some of us are great at inviting people to visit. Think about people in your life that we need here at Broadway and invite them. Tell them there's free food. That's a sure way to get them to come out. If you're not comfortable inviting someone, then practice hospitality, like many of us do on Sundays anyway. After all, we're Broadway. To help with names, we're going to bring back the pew pads for this one Sunday a month. Please fill out your name, pass it down the row, then check out the names of the people in your pew. Be sure you just don't mingle with Broadway people. Go up and greet a guest. Ask questions. Get to know a little bit about them. Open the door with a question like, how can I get involved with you? Another way to participate on these Sundays, did you know that Biff offers tours of the church? It's always printed in the bulletin, but we'll highlight it on these special Sundays. Biff may need some help with the tours. Walk newcomers around, tell them our story, show them the pictures, tell them about the community groups hosted here and the virtual row we play in our neighborhoods and how we share our space. Still not your cup of tea? Well, how many of us have gotten a personal note from Carol Hoffman? Just to hit the spot to make us feel real special. Well, I've spoken with her and she'd love to have some help on these Community Sundays. Write someone a personal note. Tell them how glad you are they came. Tell them we'd love to have them back again. And always encourage people to try the church at least three times. So you get a variety of experiences. Don't make a judgment on the first single visit. Still not comfortable? That's okay. Just live out our missions like we all do all the time. Pay attention to the people who may look lost, or maybe they're sitting alone at the table. Just go sit with them. Ask them a question or two. Pull them into the conversation. Make a new connection. That's all you have to do. Nothing special. But beware. Community Sundays are going to be different from now on. Please help us out. Invite. Practice hospitality. Give tours. Write letters. Be yourself. That's all we're asking. Once a month, we're going to extend the table and hopefully bring a return on community and let folks know how wonderful the things are going on right here at Broadway. 
And by the way, one last thing. Did you know that Jim Four puts out videos on YouTube called Broadway UMC Videos? Sermons are recorded and listed on the main Broadway website. So if you think a particular sermon or video might get someone excited about coming to church, make sure you check these out. Thank you, and I hope you're excited about extending our table into the world and increasing our return on community starting next month.